Are you ready to order? Do you have a menu where we could see all the ingredients? No, sorry. What do you mean? Well, we are allergic to gluten. Can we have a gluten-free pudding? Sure, we can do that for you. Three gluten-free puddings, please. Level 1, Remembering, Perceiving, Self-Orientation A family want a gluten-free berry pudding. That's a problem, the whole team is busy now, doing their orders. We have a student, working in the dessert line, maybe he can make the pudding. Come, I have a job for you. Can you make a gluten-free pudding? Without what? Glue? Without milk? Eggs? Can you? What's the matter? Do you know what gluten is? No. Gluten is a mixture of two proteins present in cereals, especially wheat, which is responsible for the elastic texture of dough. The proteins are gluten and glutening and are present in wheat, rye, barley, oats and spell, and also in any products made from them. Do you know what to use instead of the flour? No, I don't know any alternatives. In the pudding recipe, replace the flour with almond flour. Yes. And I need you to make the pudding, because I have to go and see the manager now. Maybe. Take the recipe card and start cooking. Okay. Okay, see you later. Why are you not making the puddings? I don't know what to start with. First gather the ingredients according to the recipe and then mix the dough. Where is the flour stored? What does it look like? I'd better not ask because I might look silly. Why are you still not cooking? I don't know where to find the ingredients. And now can you mix the dough? Is the method not clear? No it is not clear. Come and watch, so next time you will know what to do. Level 1 The student knows there is a problem that needs to be solved to reach a goal. He knows that he needs to make a gluten-free pudding in a short time but he doesn't know what to do. What is gluten? How to replace flour with a gluten-free alternative, where to find necessary products, how to make the pudding. He shows little interest in solving the problem. He needs to show more interest in finding solutions to the problem and learn from others, imitating their work and strategies in solving problems. Level 2, Minor Understanding, Imitation, Instruction, Interest A family want a gluten-free berry pudding. That's a problem, the whole team is busy now, doing their orders. We have a student, working in the dessert line, maybe he can make the pudding. Come, I have a job for you. Can you make a gluten-free pudding? Without what? Glue? Without milk? Eggs? Can you? What's the matter? Do you know what gluten is? No. Could you please remind me? Gluten is a mixture of two proteins present in cereals, especially wheat, which is responsible for the elastic texture of dough. The proteins are gluten and glutening and are present in wheat, rye, barley, oats and spell, and also in any products made from them. Do you know how to replace flour? No, I don't know any alternatives. Could you please explain what I could use? In the pudding recipe, replace the flour with almond flour. Yes. And I want you to make the pudding, because I have to go and see the manager now. I'll try. Take the recipe card and start cooking. Okay. See you later. Where is this almond flour? What are you looking for? Almond flour. Here you go. Thanks. What's wrong? Why have you still not started cooking? I am thinking. Can you mix the dough? Is the method to make the pudding unclear? Yes it is not clear and I do not understand the production method. The production method is the same as with wheat flour, nothing new. The most important thing here is to follow the recipe and follow the description of the dish production. Come and watch me making the pudding. Level 2 The student knows why the problem exists, that he doesn't know what gluten is and how to replace flour. 
He knows who to address to report a problem. He tells the chef that he needs an explanation about the pudding preparation. He is taking an interest in finding solutions for simple problems watching how the cook makes a pudding. He needs to learn how to solve problems based on previous experience. Level 3, Practical Understanding, Applying, Motivation A family want a gluten-free berry pudding. That's a problem, the whole team is busy now, doing their orders. We have a student, working in the dessert line, maybe he can make the pudding. Come, I have a job for you. Can you make a gluten-free pudding? Yes, I can do that. The flour contains gluten. Once I was making pudding without flour and added almond flour to the dough. I need a recipe with a preparation method description. What happened? Why are you not making the pudding? I'm not sure about the dough production method. What is not clear? You see the recipe contains wheat flour, but we have to use almond flour. I'm not sure when to add the almond flour to the dough. The production method is the same as with wheat flour, nothing new. The most important thing here is to follow the recipe and follow the description of the dish production. Will you be able to mix the dough now? I'll try. Maybe the consistency of the dough is too thick? When I last made a dough for a berry pudding, the consistency of the dough was like sour cream. Yes, it's too thick. And why is it such a thick consistency? Maybe I weighed the ingredients incorrectly? Indeed. You should mix a new one. How is the pudding? Is it okay now? I hope so. Good job, my boy. Thanks. Level 3. The student is eager to take a job and solve a problem based on prior experiences. He recalls how he made the pudding before. He applies known problem-solving strategies. He is motivated to further develop his own competence to solve simple, work-based, personal problems and he values the help of his colleague to solve his problem. He needs to develop the skill to solve problems independently and be more determined to succeed. Level 4. Analysis Deeper understanding, independent action, determination to succeed. A family want a gluten-free berry pudding. That's a problem, the whole team is busy now, doing their orders. We have a student, working in the dessert line, maybe he can make the pudding. Come, I have a job for you. Can you make a gluten-free pudding? Yes, I can do it. I need to connect to the internet and look for pudding recipes. Look, I need your advice. I've found some recipes. What do you think? Which one is the best? I see in these recipes they suggest using different types of flour instead of wheat, corn flour, tapioca, almond flour, dill flour. I think I will replace the flour with cornstarch, as the starch will absorb fats and liquids, thus helping the ingredients to bond together and give the pudding structure. I've made up a gluten-free pudding recipe. Students selecting products, preparing the workplace, avoiding cross-contamination of allergens during production, ensuring food safety in accordance with the rules of good hygiene practice. Good, a wonderful pudding. The guests were delighted with the pudding, they were giving you a big thank you. Level 4 the student knows variations and modifications to solving problems in different contexts and how to actively use available resources. Used the internet to find this recipe and consulted with colleagues which recipe to choose. He was determined and open to find objectively good solutions for a problem. He created a recipe replacing flour with another gluten-free ingredient. He needs to learn how to instruct other colleagues and manage problem solving in teams. Level 5. Knowledge Transfer, Creation Internalization. A family want a gluten-free berry pudding. That's a problem, the whole team is busy now, doing their orders. We have a student, working in the dessert line, maybe he can make the pudding. Come, I have a job for you. Can you make a gluten-free pudding? Yes, of course. It's good that I was interested in this topic and know what I can offer gluten-free, 
Pudding with dark chocolate, pudding with rice, almonds. The student was delighted and hurried to produce the pudding. The student very quickly selected necessary products and prepared a safe workplace. Maybe you need help? Are you trying to find something? Yes, I am looking for some spices for my dish. Look here they are. You should always keep spices on the shelf with other dry ingredients. Okay, thanks. I'll try. Wow, that pudding looks awesome. Bravo. Level 5. The student has a large portfolio of problem-solving strategies to solve problems constructively. Knows how to manage other people and inspire others to become better problem-solvers. <laughs>